Good morning, my Libras. Happy Sunday morning. I know, I know, I am so late in doing you and Gemini. I swear to God, if you guys knew the week I had, it's, it is truly stuff of Lifetime movies. Uh, I felt like my house was it turned into a Lifetime movie. Anyway, this is for uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Libra, know a Libra, just feel like being a Libra today. Libra, I am always glad you're here. You are one of my favorite signs. You really are. Balance, truth, honesty, all these things you represent. So what do we have for Libras? We're going to do a 10-card Celtic spread with this fabulous deck. That's right, it's back. Tarot of the Mystical Moments. And why wouldn't it be? It's a perfect deck. It's a perfect deck. Why mess up a good thing, I say. So, Libras, let's get into it. Let's do one more shuffle like this. If my cards will shuffle. I think because I put lotion on, I'm messing these cards up. Okay, what's the present energy for my Libras? What's my, pre what's my present? What's the present energy for Libras? What is going on with the Libras this weekend? By the way, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Fantastic weekend. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Let, what is this about? What's the present? It is, ooh, temperance reversed. Feeling out of sorts, feeling out of balance. What's challenging the temperance reversed? What's challenging this? Feels like that should be the challenge card. What's challenging it for Libra? Yeah, Three of Cups reversed. I'm getting people talking behind your back. Did you catch people talking behind your back? Uh, it could be family members. I'm getting a strong, right away, strong friends, family member vibe on this one. It always sucks when you trust in energies that end up stabbing you in the back. What's the reason for this reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? Ooh, Ace of Cups reverse. Or is this love? Withdrawing your heart and withdrawing your emotions. It's be closing off to a particular situation. Could be love, could be friends. Definitely not getting work right now. It could be co-workers, but Ace of Cups here, I doubt it. Unless you're really in love with your job. What's the past energy, Libra? What's the past energy for you guys? It is. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Libra, what the heck is going on in your life? And do you feel like you have a lot of eyes on you? Do you feel like people are staring, boring holes through your back? Look at all those eyes. Three of Cups reverse, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups reverse, Temperance reverse. Who are you dealing with? Who, what are you, who are you running around with? The, the no good gang? What's going on here? What's on your mind, Libra? I'm afraid to ask, to be honest. It's probably you, Justice. <laughs> I said that and look at the devil at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> What's, I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. What's on your mind, Libra? What is on that scale mind of yours? What is it? What is it? Ooh, I love this. Finally, look at you manifesting your way out of this shit. This is the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. It's a, it's a perfect card. I love the magician. The magician is a person who realizes, what am I doing hanging around in this situation? I'm too good for this situation. I'm above the situation. These people are low vibing, hanging on my high vibes. I mean, this is you realizing that you are way better than this. What's the near future? What's the near future for my Libras? Oh, I just got dizzy all of a sudden. What's the near future? What is the near future, guys? I love that. Holy hell, look at that. The Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, I'm using all kinds of bad words on Sunday. Please forgive me. Uh, the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. You're manifesting your own independence. You're manifesting this, this independent like life I mean real life not just not just putting the motions in but this is like truly having everything you need this is money this is happiness this is this is here and now energy this is realizing the, the life is in the here and now it's not in the past this is past this is the past crap you are manifesting this is you realizing you have everything you you need you don't need whoever this is this could, if this is job, it could be. It really could be crappy coworkers, crappy boss, crappy job. And you're like, I'm going to start my own thing. I'm going to, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles. And I, I mean, the reason for the reasoning, the Ace of Cups reverse is you recognizing this and a need for healing, a need to get this balance back. 
I mean, look at this straight line we have going an Ace of Cups reverse, a Temperance reverse, and boom, the Magician. This is you realizing you're out of balance. This is you realizing you gave way too much in one, one aspect in your life, and another aspect is is dehydrated and dry like the Sahara Desert. Like there's there's nothing growing there. And this is you like getting on a different track. And what track is that? This is the Nine of Pentacles track. Happiness, wealth, I mean, everything you need. Okay, let's get going. Let's keep moving. What? How do you see yourselves at this time, Libra? How do you see yourselves? How do you see yourselves? Oh, Page of Pentacles. A new beginning, a new start, a new abundance start. And you see that watering can on her back and see how big the flower is? This tells me that this is something you've been thinking about some time. This is something you're willing to nurture. Maybe you've been nurturing. You know whatever this is is going to take time because it's a pentacle. It takes a lot of nurturing. It takes a lot of patience to grow, but you're, you're in it for the long haul. Okay, what is the energy coming towards you you don't see coming? What's the energy coming towards you, Libra? You don't see coming. What is it? The big reveal. The high priestess reverse. Cancer energy. I felt like the big reveal. You know what? Let me just say, you are justice, Libra. That's your major arcana card. I feel like it's all over this. If it pops out or not, it doesn't matter because I feel like it's hanging over this reading. If, if, you're, if you want to get a certain energies back, if this is meddling family members, friends, you will have the last laugh. You will definitely have the last laugh. There will be a big reveal. What is in your emotions, Libra? What's in those emotions of yours? Probably something fair and balanced. What's in your emotions? Chariot. God, more cancer energy. And I just took the Lord's name in vain. Please forgive me. I need to go to confession. Okay. The chariot. You know what I liked about this card? Everything. No, seriously. Look at it. She's, she's riding a snail. Male or female, you're riding a snail. You know why? Because you don't care how long it takes to victory. You are in it for the long haul. It, it, the road you're on is, you don't, you probably can't even see the typical cherry card has two sphinxes. Sphinxes represent mystery, the unknown, but you're still moving forward into the unknown. You're leaving behind what you used to call a strong foundation, a comfort zone. You see that in the background back here, you know, back here and look at real quick. I said, leave them behind. You're leaving behind the three of swords reverse, by the way, because you're healed. You're moving on. You're moving on to what no longer serves you. And no matter how long it takes, you are going to see this path through. That's in your emotions. I love it. I love it. Okay, what's the outcome for this fabulous reading? I love these readings, you know, because these are self-empowerment. This is so total self-empowerment. These are my kind of readings. What's the outcome, Libra? What is the outcome for you guys? What is the outcome for Libras in this reading? Two of Pentacles reversed. That is interesting. We will see what that is. Five of Wands reversed and Judgment reversed. So it could be what's underneath is a Five of Wands reversed is no longer. It's like you're not going back to where the drama is. You're, you, you, you woke up Look at the, and the Death card. Look at that. The Death card is transformation, death and rebirth. What, are you, what did you leave behind? Uh, something that you had to close out something, something that you probably were living, a, you weren't even living a life, you were kind of just checking in. If this was a relationship, it was like you probably left it energetically a long time ago. But you've, you've transformed, you grew. And once you once you hit that certain level, you, you, it's, you can't go back to your life. You, you've changed so much that who you were is now gone. And what you no longer want to deal with, I mean, look at her. She plays, whoever this person is, that she plays with people's lives, like chess pieces. And you're tired of playing. You don't want to play anyone's game anymore. You just want to live your life. That's just what I'm feeling, Libra. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, we're going to clarify with the black and gold tarot. I'm so curious with that two of pentacles reversed. I, it's always interesting when a reading throws a card in that just kind of throws it off, but there's a reason. We will find out. What is this temperance reverse and the three of cups reverse for Libra? Tell me about this temperance reverse and three of cups reverse. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do my Libras need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. Temperance reversed and three of cups reversed. What is this about? What is this about for Libra? 
What is the temperance reverse and three of cups reversed? Yeah, chariot reverse. This time it's, I feel you were stuck in this situation. You were stuck with energies that didn't have your back. You were stuck with energies that weren't there for you that were um, flaky kind of energies. Libra, and if I know you, you gave and gave and gave. You gave enough for both of them until you had nothing left to give. I feel like in this time, in the near future, you're nine of pentacles. During this time, you were probably a nine of pentacles reverse. I mean, look at this symmetry, guys. We have a nine and a nine. And in the center, what do we have? An unbalance. We have an unbalance here. And this is you getting on your track, fast track. I fast track the snail. <laughs> Okay, slow track, Libra. But it doesn't matter how fast or slow. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And what is this journey? Life lessons. You learning yourself again. You realizing how the strength that you've always had within. Maybe maybe other people pulled the trigger on your on your life and made these decisions. And you're just tired of it. You're tired of it. Maybe people you once trusted have been leading you astray. And I'm not saying they're bad or evil. This could be family members who may have even in their head, you know, had your best interest at heart. But really, is it yours or is it theirs? And a lot of times their best interest is to see you not change because probably, Libra, I'm taking a wild stab in the dark here based on this reading. You balanced other people's lives out while getting unbalanced yourself. That's just that's what I'm getting. So this is feeling stuck in this kind of situation. Unbalanced negative energies that just didn't fulfill you with ace of cups reversed you were not fulfilled you were you did not feel like you're on your soul's path and now you want to live a life of purpose you want to wake up and be rejoiced you want to you want to be aligned to that higher calling to that higher self that's where i feel like the libras i'm reading for i feel like that's where you're being pulled to tell me about this ace of cups reversed the reason for the reading what's this ace of cups reversed about for libra what is this Five of Wands reversed twice now we've had it. Look at that, remember? Bottom of the deck, Five of Wands reversed. You, uh, guys, somebody was playing with your life. And I think you felt a lot of stress. You felt like you were being controlled in the past, Nine of Swords. I feel like this is a, a level of control that kept you all up in your head. Meanwhile, it's just, it's kind of like, it's also those energies tell me if I'm wrong, if I'm way off here, you know, let's say, let's talk iPhones. Okay. Let's, let's talk the iPhone 12. Let's say you got the iPhone 12 first before an energy like this got it. So this, this person would be like three of cups reverse. Why'd you get that? Why'd you get that? Why do you think you deserve that? What's wrong with the iPhone 10? What's wrong with iPhone four, Libra? You, you're, you're good with iPhone four. Meanwhile, if they get it, it's okay because you're not one to say something back to them. You're not one to, to, to talk to them like that. But the people like this can talk to you like that and run all over you. And if they get it, and as long as they get it first, it's fine. But God forbid if they get something second and you get, if you actually have something for yourself. These are the energies that don't want you to have something for yourself. I'm getting very strong family here. Take it from what, it, from what you will. This could be relationship, this could be job. Um, for it's many people watch this and, um, what was that? That was reverse. Yeah. Five of wands reverse. Many people watch this and it's going to be for different people, different things. Tell me, but this is you ace of cups reverse. Let's get back to this ace of cups reverse and five of wands reverse. This is you withdrawing your emotions and your attention and your energy from things that no longer serve you. You're tired of the fighting. You're tired of the drama. You, you realize you've given so much of the energy to this fight, you left you depleted into your own calling. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the past for Libra. What's this Nine of Swords in the past? What's this Nine of Swords in the past for Libra? Yeah, Two of Swords. You realized at some point there was a breaking point and you needed balance. Two of Swords is going within to find that inner peace. You don't know where you're going and you don't really care. You just don't want to go back to where you were. And she's got her eye, she or he have their eyes closed, right? Because they don't need to see what's coming. They're in the here and now. They're in the in-between and they're pretty damn okay with in the in-between. You know why? Because they're not in the past in the Nine of Swords. You, whatever this Nine of Swords is, nor, I can't even talk guys. Whatever this Nine of Swords is, threw you into the Two of Swords. Threw you into this deep healing, this deep meditation. And, and look at that. 
death, the death card came up twice on the bottom of the deck. Death and four of wands. Some of you had to leave your home for it. Some of you had to transform your home by getting rid of the energies out of your home. I'm again feeling family. You had to clean your house. You had to clean your mental house, your energy. Some of you probably had to sage the crap out of your house. Tell me about the magician on your mind. Why is the magician on Libra's mind? Why is the magician on Libra's mind here? Tell me about it. Yeah, the devil reverse. You're re you release that. You're releasing the past. You're releasing what didn't serve you. You're breaking the chains of what you're. You know of the shoulda wouldas. You know, Libra, Libra, you got to do this for me. Libra, you got to do that. More importantly, Libra, you are breaking the chains of the chains you put on yourself. A lot of this is energy you put on yourself of expectations of you feel people may have put expectations on you and you had to live up to them. This is releasing those expectations. And once you release it, you realize you're in, you can now be like the fool and carry a tiny stick and a bag, one little bag and do whatever you want because your burden is now so much lighter because you're not carrying other people's crap along with you. You probably with the nine. You probably in the nine of swords reverse pretty soon if you're not already. Where you can finally sleep at night. You're putting other people's crap down and realize it's not your cross to bear. It's not your karma to to uh, live for them. They have to. They have to make their own mistakes. What's the nine of pentacles in the near future for Libra? What's this nine of pentacles? Yeah, six of wands. You're going to victory. Some of you are. Look at this. I can't help it. Some of you, I feel like, have been living in the shadows, have let other people control you, and, and maybe you have been afraid to take the reins in your own life, you know? Maybe you've been afraid to be up in front and center. Maybe you've been kind of a wallflower your whole life, and you've been okay with it. It's only okay with it because deep within, I don't think you have been okay with it. I think you have been a, you've been called to do something more public. The Six of Wands is the public celebrity card, but this is, this is, enjoying the attention you get and you see there's only one person on this horse it's not a whole family on a horse it's not the it's not the windsors it's not the royal family that's one person that's you libra getting the the applause you need the getting the attention the recognition you need and that once you allow yourself to come this is where you're heading nine of pentacles six of wands success success in a huge way why because you're finally coming out from hiding with the energy coming towards you high priestess reveal reveal i keep calling it the high priestess reveal it should be called that but look at this story linear in the past you were stressed the heck out i mean i'm getting family could be it could be a myriad of things let's get real let's get it, this could be job and family and love because we got the threes you know the th big threes in your life is is home family and work I think a lot of people took a lot of things from you that kept you stuck, that kept you depleted. But then it's like, then you, you were like, I, I, I could get on a different path. I can't do this anymore. I'm just so unhappy. And this is you getting on, once you're on that higher path, on the path that you need to be on, um, you, you could even be moving, you could be switching jobs, but this is a six of wands and nine of pentacles. And it's like, you're now living life out loud. You're now living life out loud, Libra. You're no longer in the shadows. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What's this for Libra? What is this Page of Pentacles? I feel like it's a new business idea. Are you guys starting a new uh, business, a new job? Are you trying to go for a higher position? It's like you got that confidence with the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. You realize you, you're the one who deserves this. You do deserve this. What's this Page of Pentacles for Libra? Yeah, the lovers. And the lovers could be a new relationship. For some of you, this could be talking about love. It could be a new relationship, definitely, with some type of earth sign or Gemini. But the lovers here also is making a choice. Who did you choose, Libra? You chose yourself first and foremost. Ace of Cups reverses self-healing, a need for self-healing. When you realize this, you I feel like it should go like this. Drama. I'm depleted. I need to choose myself. I'm choosing myself and now I'm on my path. It's like it tells a very clear story left to right. Every line should tell, it should be, I mean, if the, if the cards are lined up, it should, from left to right across the road, should tell a clear story of progression. So this is you choosing yourself on your right path. Page of Pentacles, the lovers. Because the lovers is typically talks about choice. Tell me about this High Priestess reversed coming in for Libra. What's this High Priestess reversed? What's this High Priestess reversed? Hangman. 
because you, again, we've got a linear story here, left to right, but once you realize that this no longer serves you, you there's something that you have been called to do. And I think for each of you, if you really go within with the two of swords back in the beginning, you, you, everybody's going to have different stories. I can't sit there and say, ah, it's to be a singer or to be a teacher or to be a tarot reader. For everybody, it's going to be different. But the most important is each of you know deep within what is that calling? Be honest with yourself. What is that calling that you've wanted to do, but you felt like A, wouldn't bring me money, B, would bring, bring me too much nine of swords, you know, eyes on the back, three of cups reversed, people talking behind my back. Oh my God, what if they talk behind my back? Well, who cares if they talk behind your back? You're on up on your horse. People who talk behind your back now later will be like, Leaper, how did you do that? watch just watch that's exactly how that happens and the p the difference between success and failure is trying that's it that's it people who are elon musk it's not yeah he he did he started he had privilege but there's many people who was it um the starbucks the guy who runs starbucks he he came from like the projects in brook in the bronx and built himself up so how do people do that it's because they believed in themselves most most importantly and all this crap of people talking behind your back all this crap they don't care they simply don't care i mean at least not to the point where they're letting it control their lives libra oh, the libras i'm reading for this is you you've realized i don't really care what you say because in the end you're the same people who are going to want my autograph you're the same people who are going to be calling me up and say hey libra can i borrow five bucks you know, you know it, you know it. So that's the hangman. That's the perspective you got on this. Once you got a hold of this and this perspective, that's Libra coming out in the open and living their life out loud, no longer in the shadows. Tell me about this chariot and their emotions. What's this chariot about in Libra's emotions? What is this about? Oh, nine of wands reversed. You're not letting fear stop you. That's letting, let, that's letting anxiety and fear stop you. Maybe in the past, over and over and over again, you'd get so close to leaving, so close to moving, so close to getting that brass ring. And that little voice in your head or many voices outside your head would be like, no, Libra, no, 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 no. Stay where it's safe, Libra. Stay where it's safe. Yeah, you're unhappy, but it's paying the bills. Isn't that the devil? Seriously, isn't that the devil talking when they're like, don't change? Don't change. I like you the way you are because you serve me. Libra is just like temperance. Temperance is here. I saw that at the bottom of the deck. I, where did we see that? We saw oh, the, the main card. Temperance is here saying, no, 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 no. You know, we got we got to heal this. We got enough is enough. Enough is enough. Nine of Wands reversed. Give me another card on that. I feel like I don't need it, but let's get another card on that. Yeah, the world reversed because these energies want to keep you stuck. Feel the fear, Libra. Feel the fear. Don't move forward. It's going to take too long. Stay where you're unhappy because at least it's somewhere, right? World reverse and nine of wands. Stay in that fear because you are serving their interest. If this is a boss, you probably been doing their job for you and they've been gladly un underpaying you with the promise of one day giving you three cent raise. One day that's coming. Tell me about the two of pentacles reversed at the top of the reading. I feel like I have to shuffle. Bear with me, guys. I do what I'm told. What's this two of pentacles reversed for Libra? What is this about Capricorn energy? A lot of Capricorn. What's this two of pentacles reversed for Libra? Page of swords reversed. It's, it's, okay, hold on. That could be many things. That could be you, that could be the people you're dealing with. Give me another card on that. Please clarify, what's that Page of Swords Reverse doing here? Yeah, the Fool. Didn't I say that? That's the energy you're in. That's the energy in. This is other people. This is this is you with, okay, Tarot, the mystical moments. You need to move. This is you and the other people. This is a card of unbalanced. Why were you unbalanced? This is takes us back to the present energy. You are... I, I mean, I, I hate saying this because it's like manifesting is just saying it out loud. But I need to say this so somebody needs to truly hear this. Who There is always a chance of falling back into the cycle, right? Like a wheel reverse, like the wheel of fortune. The wheel can go to the, can go forward. The wheel can go backwards. It's up to you. You know, if you let 
the nine of wands reversed, if you let fear stop you from this path that you are meant to be on, the page of swords reversed, it, it is a bad news card, right? This is, this is negative energies. This is energies who get their own way. If they don't get their, their own way, they're, they're, they're bratty, they're, they're assholes. Sorry, another bad word on a Sunday. But they are. These are people you don't want to fight with and therefore you give in. Maybe you have a history of giving in to a boss, giving in to coworkers, giving in to friends because you just don't want the conflict. This is not wanting the conflict. Two of Pentacles upright is balance. And it's not just about balance, but it's about being flexible. How flexible are you? You know, for instance, here we go. Look at my coffee, okay? I just went to McDonald's. I was in a 20 minute line to get a, a black coffee. They give me finally my black coffee. She hands it through the window and I see the lid isn't on right, right? Of course, as she hands it to me, the lid pops off, half the coffee goes all over my hand, burns my hand, okay? And she, the, it's a young girl and she looks at me and she said, oh, doesn't say sorry or anything. She takes the cup back, puts another lid on and then gives me my cup, cup back. Now I have a half a cup of coffee. I have a burned hand. I have my watch is all wet and my wrist is all wet. And I'm like, I could make a shit show right now. I could, but I wanna get and start doing these readings. And is it worth it? Is it worth it? This is the two of pentacles. This is the long story short, two of pentacles is life is going to throw crap your way. Be prepared, be flexible. It's up to you what you do with it. That's, that's turning lemons into lemonade kind of thing. You could let this ruin your day. You could let this completely ruin your week. You could, you could, I could, you know, I can get the girl fired, but who knows? She could be a single mom. I mean, there, there could be a, a ball of things you know, depending on how I react, that could really change other people's lives and not for the good. So this is about being flexible when bad things can come your way. This is when you're too rigid. Two of Pentacles reverse is a call of, if you're too rigid with the Page of Swords reverse, when too much bad stuff goes your way, you crumble. That That's a card of like kind of crumbling. And look at the moon and the Four of Swords. The moon is like under, underneath the deck that's, I always look at both. I'm sorry, I know I'm all over the place. But the moon is like when, when, when you are in that deep, you know, where you just can't see it coming, it's like a call to rest. It's a call to get a different perspective. Okay, give me another card on that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done underneath because I feel like that was another part of the reading. Okay, tell me about the Page of Swords reversed and the Two of Pentacles reverse for Libra. What is that about? Page of Swords reversed and Two of Pentacles. Give me another card on that. Give me another card on that. Eight of Wands. Yeah. It's up to you. Keep it moving. Get in this cycle. Get, you know, and if you keep it moving underneath the deck, we have the three of swords reversed. This is where your healing is. Your healing is in the action. Your healing is moving forward. It's up to you to do what people say, Libra. Are you going to go back to being a yes person? Or are you going to go back being a fool, like the fool energy? You know, the fool is, right here it is. The fool is, this This could be you. It's your choice. It's your choice. Living life out loud or going back and living under somebody else's thumb. How much happiness living under someone, uh, someone else's thumb? How much happiness did that bring you? Did that bring you abundance? Did that bring, they give you a good night's sleep? Change is scary, guys. Change is really scary. But what's, what's on the other side of that change when you allow it is a nine of pentacles. If you stay, is the temperance reversed, okay? It's like momentarily, momentarily fear brings long-term success. Don't let the fear, just don't let the fear, you know, overrun and make the decisions for you. It's everybody's going to have fear with change. That's normal. Just don't, don't operate out of a place of fear. Don't operate, don't let the anxiety rule you. You rule the anxiety. Yeah, the tower. This is, this is, this is, I feel like this is a transformation. I mean, that's really what this card is. The fool and the, it's, the Libras I'm reading for, if you're walking this path, you're going to be unrecognizable to these energies. They're, if you're afraid of confrontation, I don't think you're going to be afraid of confrontation in the future. They, they probably, after one time running in with you, the new version of you, they're not going to, they're not going to attempt the page of swords reversed. It's such a weak energy. I feel like you're the, like the king of swords in this reading. Can you imagine a page of swords reverse coming at a king of swords? The king of swords would just like backhand him and he'd go flying. That That's the strength that you're building with this eight of wands. The strength that you're building up 
it, these energies can't affect you like they used to. I mean, because you're really onto something great. It's just about it's about getting that that confidence. You know, it's about getting that confidence. Yeah, and the high priestess. I mean, your intuition is. I'm sorry, I'm going all over. I'm trying to get that because that glare. The high priestess. Can you guys see it? I love this deck, but it's just I know it's not the best for camera. But the high priestess, your intuition is 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 leading you here. Your higher self. It's it's it's. There's a calling to get connected to your higher self with the lovers. It's a it's a calling to, to choose you for the first time maybe in your life. Choose you, Libra, because there's something really really great here. But you got to allow these negative energies, these negative influences, to control and run your life. And again, I'm getting number one strong family members it could be lovers it could be co-workers it could be all three because it is a three of cups it could be the big three you know but i feel like if you pray to god if you pray to your spirit guides open yourself up to that with the intuition with the intuition i call that high priestess everything but the high priestess it's it's a calling to open yourself up to your higher self and and allow it to come in allow it you know to meditate with the two of swords find out what path you need to be on because whatever you've been on, I don't feel like you've, you've been that happy with it. I just don't. The Ace of Cups reverse is, a, is really unhappy. I, I mean, it's really, it's emotionally unhappy. It makes me emotional because I can feel who you just, you, you've been living other people's lives for them, helping them out. And it's like you lost yourself along the way. But okay, Libras, that's what I have for you. Sorry for the long reading. I really tried to hit it in 22 and I just couldn't. Couldn't do it today, but I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Sunday and weekend, and I'll see you soon. Take care.